wants oh, to go yeah. to college? Me. Oh, yeah. Me. 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 And what do we have to do to get to college? Learn. We are so excited to be a part of RISE because it allows us to uh, change practices and impact instruction and our teaching habits at our campus. What I would like parents to know about RISE is it's a great opportunity for our school. One of the things that RISE has brought to our campus is two additional personnel members. One is the Dean of Instruction and the other is a Data Analyst. I'm Josie Gutierrez and I'm the District Steward of Transformational Leadership and School Improvement in the Fort Worth Independent School District. RISE stands for Redesign to Increase Schools of Excellence and it supports 25 schools currently. The goal is to improve teaching and learning in our schools. Our first priority is student achievement, opening doors for students to give them the education that they deserve. We're an a, B pattern. Federal and state grants are making it possible for us in the Fort Worth ISD to turn around and transform schools. Over the next few years, this funding will allow us to develop stronger leaders and teachers. I'm out at the schools, so the principals and the teachers are, are open and share with me the many things that uh, they, they're struggling with and do you need any help? I go back to central office and I try to make the work a little bit easier for them and help them move uh, their goals along a little more quickly. The critical success factors are based on, on seven factors that are strong in the research that support school change and school improvement. And we base all of our change and our goals on these seven critical success factors to improve our schools. It, it's how we streamline our work it's how we focus our work. Academic performance is, to me, not, it's, it's student and teacher mastery. It's not just performing well on a state standardized test. It is students becoming up to speed on grade level, becoming the best that they can be performance-wise, as well as teachers doing the best that they can. And I mean, it really is about mastery across the board. Quality data could be report card grades, uh, assessment scores that our students do frequently, attendance rates, behavioral rates, all those things we look at those to see how we can drive and better serve our students. How is the data that we're analyzing today going to help you prepare for future lessons and interventions? I'm able to really hone in more on my teachers, those who have those true leadership qualities and tap into that. I see that when they think collectively and they come up with these wonderful plans that we've been able to put on our campus, it has more meaning as opposed to the principal saying this is what we're going to do. I think it's a wonderful extension to PEAK and we were a former PEAK school which stands for Public Educators Accelerating Kids um, and now moving into RISE we've been able to encompass being a turnaround campus. Our motto is, learning is not an option, it's an expectation, and it's just thrilling to see all the wonderful teaching and learning and everyone excited about it. We, have six more we are extending our learning day past 3 o'clock until 4.30 p.m. So our students here, kindergarten through fifth grade, actually have a wonderful opportunity to have an additional hour and a half for learning. I'm gonna give you an addition We're to definitely making the progress in the games immediately. We're seeing rapid types of results. Some of the key things that we address are providing um, opportunities for accessibility of services. Uh, we deal with providing more opportunities for parental input and involvement within the school community. And also we focus on providing additional opportunities for furthering education. When they talk about school climate, I know uh, one of the biggest factors for the rise was uh, increasing student attendance and reducing uh, discipline referrals. I needed to service my high at risk African American Hispanic males. I needed to make sure they came to school, I made sure they stayed in school and they stayed in an academic environment. You don't have a so you have to do now. Something we did create was a uh, it was a school within a school and it's a, almost a boys academy within the school and we call that the Frontline Leaders Academy. So where would the other side of your square be? Help them academically and help them socially Absolutely. with the, the school work, uh, with um, issues that arise every day at, the, at, their, at their own home. You know, second chance of, I'm going to make sure you're successful. 
I like school a lot now, from what I when I was young and I didn't like it. I'm not just telling you that. I tell my mom that, everybody that. The teacher is a lifelong learner, and it is our job as administrators to assist our teachers in new learning strategies. So how many Z's do you have there? You have six. Every school year, a teacher is observed, and an appraisal instrument is executed for that teacher, which means that an administrator comes into the classroom and does an observation, and if you will, scores the teacher on that particular instrument. Tell me first, how do you think the lesson went? Um, I think it went good. I think it could have done better. RISE has given us a new instrument that we will be using and piloting to see if it is more effective than the instrument that we're presently using. You only didn't call on one kid. That's very impressive. So that teachers can grow. So that teachers can do a better job at educating our students. We need to be quick responders to our schools who are especially most in need. So join us on this exciting adventure. We know we're going to do great things for students, but it's going to take all of us working together, supporting each other to do what's best for our students. Because every student at Bernstein Williams is going where? College. Say it again. College. College. Going to college.